Hey guys, David Franklin here. Just want to speak to uh, all the ministers in Bartow County just to communicate with you, especially about prayer strategies in the coming days. We talked about it Thursday on our conference call, but uh, wanted to really, really hone in on some things that kind of have arisen. So just know kind of the following things from our prayer strategy. Uh, number one is there's a group of guys from the National Day of Prayer team that are uh, had already been working. They're gonna be contacting all the ministers and just in each local community from Taylorsville to Emerson to Kingston, all the way across the board, Adairsville, Cartersville, that each community would, uh, church would take a day of the week and be found praying, enlisting people to pray from eight in the morning down to eight at night. They'll have some prayer guides, so they're gonna be contacting you. So just know that's one, just a kind of a continue saturation of the county with prayer. Number two, and uh, this is really kind of a crazy idea, but, but I think one that you're gonna love. Uh, number two is this, uh, this is COVID-19. And if we go with military time, 1900 hours is 7 p.m. in the evening. So what we're doing is we're putting out just the call that every single night at 7 p.m., 1900 hours, that every single family throughout our community, Bartow County, would uh, pause to pray and pray that God would just, with his breath, just blow this virus straight out of Bartow County. Now, guys, what, uh, what we really think is that God wants to restore and revive the prayer altar in every single home. Our families are at home. I mean, what, what an opportunity it is for us to encourage fathers and mothers and families to come together and pray together. And it may be the first time they've ever done that. So. People will be like, what are we going to pray? Well, get them to start praying, then we'll give you some resources, just some simple things that they can be found praying uh, just for this virus. So please encourage your people across the board to really be found praying at 1900 hours at nine o'clock. Attached is a video that, uh, of one of the greatest historical prayer stories from 1746, where God, Boston was about to be attacked by an incredible armada of French ships and God blew a storm in. You gotta go to this and listen to it and it will inspire you and encourage you. Third thing, how do we get ministers connected in prayer? And Wesley Morris has uh, so graciously said he's gonna head up, ministers praying, did the first one yesterday on a Zoom call and had nine guys praying together. And so guys, wherever you are, be found praying for each other and then with each other. We've got to encourage each, uh, each other during these days, and we've got to be found praying for each other. We're the spiritual elders, and God's got to use all of us to communicate to the body. The craziest thing that's happening right now that I can see that I didn't expect was how many people are watching Facebook Live and live streaming and stuff like that. Everybody's numbers are astronomically higher. This community is listening to the ministers right now. And so we gotta pray for each other for the anointing of God. And so you're gonna be seeing different prayer calls, some in the morning, some at night, but, but you may wanna encourage just, uh, just, hey, each other by calling and praying for one another or starting your own prayer group. So we as ministers have gotta be found seeking God together. Fourth thing is, and this is coming out of those shared ideas, but uh, some guys talked to our local radio station with Neil Harper, our Christian radio station, and he so graciously said, what a great idea for ministers to come by and to say a prayer and it be recorded. And then they pray ministers' prayers, pastors' prayers throughout the day. And so you've got some information attached and that's going to be uh, being developed and stuff like that. But you just know they're trying to get it all set up by Wednesday. And so guys, please go by and uh, pray three or four minutes. You'll see the guidelines but pray three or four minutes and then that prayer will be aired. Our community needs to hear the minister's voices. Listen, there, there's some other ideas that are coming up. Uh, one is we're gonna find a time to go walk Pine Mountain and climb up over and look over all of Bartow County and pray over that. So that's another idea that's come forth that we're gonna be doing. So, so I just wanna encourage you, there's a lot of stuff happening, but just know this, no, number one, your church, be thinking about what day you wanna take to say, okay, church, we're gonna be found praying. And it's not just one person, it's how many people can be found praying in that church. And, and every church takes a day and just saturates, prayer saturation. A second one is that seven o'clock in homes, praying at 1900 hours. 
Look at that video. This is the most inspirational story you've ever seen in your life. It is incredible what God did in times past to absolutely move across our uh, across North America, across the Americas. So, so watch that and be inspired and then call your church to pray at 1900 hours. And then find guys be found praying with each other. I mean, ministers, I'm talking about children's ministers, student ministers, however you want to gather together, be found praying and watch for stuff from Wesley. And then this whole idea of going and praying at the radio station and your prayer will be heard. Our people are desperately looking for leadership right now. And man, pray a prayer of boldness and faith and hope because now is not a time to shrink back. Guys, one last thought. I told you all these people are watching. The other thing that we're hearing incredible reports of is receptivity among lost people. So encourage your people to share their faith, to connect with people, minister to people, and share their faith. We're hearing reports of people coming to Christ, not just here, but across the community, I mean, across the state of Georgia. Guys, I'm telling you what a great opportunity it is to witness and share the good news of Jesus Christ. So let's go be the body of Christ. You just know that I'm telling you, Sunday morning, I'm praying for every single person who's gonna be opening God's word and sharing that because people are watching and people are listening. So God bless y'all with the anointing of God. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters. Lord, use them in a special way in this time. For your good and your glory, may we see Bartow County one to Christ. And we pray this in his name. Amen. Thanks, guys.